Hey guys, what's up? This is Greg from uproblog.com and in th this video is going to be about something special. I'm going to show you one of my personal tools that I use that I actually use each day to find really good keywords to actually make money from them. And in this video I'm going to show you for um it's going to be more um for people who try to make money with Google AdSense and I know a lot of, of you um, you try to make money with Google Adsense which is totally normal and uh, you can make a nice decent living from it if you do it, if you use it wisely uh, or if you know how to use it wisely and uh, that's something that not many people know how to do but you can do more than just uh, um, you know use it for, for Google Adsense but you could use it for Google AdWords as well this tool is amazing by the way but I'm not gonna show it in this video what I'm gonna concentrate on now is for Google Adsense us users, right? So, in this video, I only get 10 minutes because uh, I upload these, these videos on uh, YouTube and I only get 10 minutes for it. I'm going to show you that I can find in less than 5 minutes uh, a random keyword that I can use to make a blog, that I can make a blog for and actually get a lot of money for uh, a lot of uh, money for, uh, for each click that, that I actually get. So, what you need to know is that there are a couple of um, niches um, in the business world uh, that actually pay well for each click you get with Google AdSense because a lot of people go take like the first keyword that they know about and they're gonna make a blog about it and when they get clicks they will get only like a couple of cents per click like 10 cents maybe like 50 cents which would be like nice to them but there are a couple of keywords that automatically will give you more than that and I'm, sp and I'm talking about one dollar, two dollars, maybe five dollars or even more I've seen a couple of examples that actually pay more than five dollars for a click and such areas are actually um, the uh, insurance uh, keywords and the mortgage keywords they, they actually pay really well but the downside of that is that it is a market that is so saturated that it's really hard to rank on page one for Google for that. But with this tool, you're gonna find keywords in this uh, niche that actually are not too saturated. And this is something that the Google keyword uh, tool doesn't show you. And um, what I'm gonna start with is with an example. Let's just say I'm gonna. Try to find a keyword for me, uh, for a keyword called mesothelioma. Now, if you don't know what this word means, it's a it's a disease. It's actually, it's actually a, a, a kind of cancer. Um, and I know that those keyword that those ads for those keywords um, for this keyword uh, actually pay very well. So if you click on start, we're gonna. The Google key or the keyword Ali tool here software is gonna show me in a couple of seconds an entire list of keywords that are related and it's gonna show me more keywords than the Google keyword tool because the keyword Ali database is gonna give me results from lo a lot of different keyword tools. And there we go. It took, uh, took us a couple of took me a lot a couple of seconds to get them all, and that's the entire list. And I mean, it's a lot. Of, it's a big list. Uh, and you get also the searches for it for every month, and uh, also the parent keywords, which is pretty cool if you wanna, you know, use other. Like for example, if you don't wanna go for just mesothelioma, you could go for mesothelioma law, lawyer, settlement. It's pretty cool. But for this example, what I'm going to do is try to find a long tail keyword. If you don't know what long tail keywords are, they are keywords that have three or more um, words because short keywords like this one here, mes mesothelioma or mesothelioma lawyer, they get a lot of results obviously, but they are saturated and that's not what we want to have and what we're gonna try to find are longer keywords and uh, let's just scroll down and find long keywords there we go, I already spotted one here 
Now this might look like a weird keyword, but as we can see here, it gets 6,510 searches, right? So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go to the search engine dominator and this piece of the saw of the keyword elite software is gonna show me more information for this um, keyword. As we can see already, we get 6,510 searches a month, right? So imagine if you rank on page one, you would actually get traffic from these searches here. Now you not you might not get all the traffic from them, but you know it's free traffic and even for a long keyword like that, that that I'm gonna show you doesn't seem to be that saturated or that competitive um, it's actually quite interesting to go for it. now as we can see there are only 21,000 competing pages for it which is totally not a lot so this is already definitely a good one now I wouldn't go I wouldn't choose to go for a keyword that has more than 50,000 or 6,000 competing pages this is um, a tip that I got from professionals and which you could base yourself on too as well. Now this is a rough um, idea how many clicks you would get but that's not always true. I mean I get more, sometimes I get less but anyway. What I want to show you now here, you get the top 10 of all the keyword, of all the, the, of the search results for this keyword and uh, what's interesting is that we can see the, the Google page rank now you can see there's some of them. A lot of them are actually not even um, don't even don't, don't even have a page rank or a small one like two or one. Or two of them have a five one, a five Google uh, page rank, which is pretty high. But all the others one don't have one uh, or a small one. So on average, we can see that there's a Google page rank of 2.6. I wouldn't go. I wouldn't choose a keyword that has um, on average more than uh, more than a page rank uh, of three. So this would be a go for me. Backlinks, important. None of them have backlinks, or not at all, like nine. I mean, if you make a blog on this keyword and you spin it with the uh, on the social networking uh, websites, you would get more backlinks than any of these r results here. The amount of words you could base yourself on, for example, it's pretty cool too, to have an idea. So if you would write around like thousand words, you can see that you would you get you more likely to rank on page one and actually pretty high as well. So if you if you use all these criteria like use backlinks, use around thousand words, repeat your backlinks because nobody does it. That's already a criteria to rank higher. And you could use backlinks in title as well because nobody does it. Nobody links the, the backlink uh, this keyword. Nobody uses it in in, in images. Uh, nobody. Uh, puts the keyword in bold or use it in an h1 tag so for me this would be a go right so and this little feature here is pretty cool too if you click on it it will take a couple of seconds and it will calculate if whether the keyword is competitive or not if you get if it becomes green it is if it gets yellow it's going to be a bit more difficult and if it gets red it's a no-go because that means it's just too competitive but as we can see here it's green which means that it's really doable so for example if you want to make a blog get like and you want to get a lot of money from it from it a day like let's say like between five and ten dollars a day if you do it well I would go for the skewer for example so this was a short uh, example of the Google uh, of the keyword elite tool that I use. It's not that expensive. Uh, a lot of people have recommended me uh, have recommended to me. Uh, I bought it and I'm totally not disappointed by it. And at the bottom of this page, on the right of this page, you will see a link to the official website. Um, check it out. It's pretty cool um, and it will save you a lot of time. All right, guys. See you guys later. Bye.